What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do? And if you're watching this from the Play Store, it's youtube.com slash wwjoshdew. That's how you can view this video and other videos on rooting your device and etc. But this is an app called Repitouch or Repititouch. Uh, I'm not sure the correct pronunciation of it, but it's a really cool app and I want to go ahead and show you. But my battery is almost dead, so I need to go ahead and charge it. Hold on, give me just a second to do that. I'm going to go ahead and throw this one on the charger. There we go. Our battery's at 100%. <laughs> I love not having to worry about putting my phone on a charger and having it, you know, tethered to a wall for a few hours at a time. So let's go ahead and find the app. Uh, if you open up the Play Store, it's called Repid Touch Pro. I'm spelling it wrong, but the Play Store should say, did you mean... I'm telling you, I'll never spell it correctly. Did you mean R-E-P-E-T-I-T-O-U-C-H Pro? And then you click on it, and then it brings you here. There is a free version for you to try out and see if you like it, if it works for you. And if it does, you can go ahead and get the Pro version. I got the Pro version on sale. Uh, and I tweeted about when the sale was going on. So if you missed that, that's because you were not following me on Twitter. So anytime there's a really good sale on an app, I tried my best to post about it and spread the word. So we're going to go ahead and download the pro version, which is what we paid for. And uh, let's go ahead and press install, accept. Now this app does require root permission. If you are not rooted, this is not going to work. I have videos on how to root the Note 3, the Note 2, the S3, S4, uh, NVIDIA Shield, the Nexus 7, the Nexus 7 2012, Nexus 5. I have videos on how to root a lot of devices. I would have a video on how to root every single device out there if I could afford to buy every single device out there, but I can't. So I'm only able to do videos on the devices that I'm able to purchase and own myself. So we're going to go ahead and just open it up. And the very first time you open it, it's going to say, do you accept the terms? You just, you have to accept them. Otherwise, you wasted your money. See, this app requires root access. If you do not see this screen, you are not rooted. And this app is not going to work. So I, I've seen comments on the Titania backup. And people are like, hey, this app does not, I, I do not want to root my phone, but I want to use this app. So you'll get this little thing up here at the top. And this is important. This one right here lets you move it to anywhere you need to move it. So like if it's in an area that's inconvenient and you're trying to touch in that area, you can just move it wherever you'd like to move it. And also if you click this little star, it'll take you to the settings. And if you want it flipped, um, now it's a little thing right here so you can like have it at the top. And then you would just press the little star again, go to settings, and then you can choose the panel icon size, the opacity, like how clear it is, the color of it. Um, you can hide that little thing while it's replaying the action that it's doing. You can repl the replay speed, you can dim the screen while it's doing what it's doing. And then under advanced, this is for the more advanced people that are going to use this. So we're going to back out. The play button is, um, if you press it one time, It'll do the default action. I think it's like one or three times or something like that. But if you hold on it, it'll give you the option. So like right here, you see two, five, and then infinity. If we hit the little star button and we go to settings, if we uh, list for right here, it says two dash five dash INF. If we want to take that two out of there and replace it with a five and then take the five and replace it with a 10 and you can even add a comma and then do like 50 and then hit OK. And then now if we go back to this little option, we long press on play, you'll see we have 5, 10, 50, and infinity. I like hitting infinity because when you hit it, you can just hit the little stop button after it's doing what it's doing. So we're going to go ahead and show you. There's an app that a uh, really good app to show you that um, also in the settings here, you can actually have it um, in the status bar. I'll, it'll be easier to see it right here. A panel may be put on top of status bar. So basically, I can have it in my battery in the corner like that. So that's pretty cool. One game that I want to show you is uh, Toilet Paper. Now you can download any of these. Uh, this one has more ratings, so I'll go ahead and do this one. 
and then accept. Now, I'm not going to demo a lot of games, or, or in fact, probably any, any other games, because I don't want to get in trouble with the game people that are like, you're showing someone how to, how to mess this game up. So let's go ahead and just name it Josh real quick. Okay, now I'm going to go to single. So basically what you need to do is you need to record an action. So like we're going to hit the record button and then we're going to drag this down. And you can do it really slow. It doesn't matter. And we're just going to keep doing it. And then we can go up here and hit stop. Now if we hit the play button, it's going to play what I just did. So the game thinks that I'm touching on the screen right now. Now that's going really, really slow. What you can do is you can go here to the little star button, which by the way, if you long press on that, it will it will clear it out like I'll show you. Well, I don't want to show you because I want to show you the action, but if you long press on the star, it will close this out and you'll have to reopen the app. So we're going to go to the star here, go to settings, and then for the replay speed, I'm going to change this to 15 and watch what happens when I press the play button and then choose 50 times. There we go. And then you can hit this little circle icon up here to stop it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and retry that again. And this time, with it set to 15 times speed, we're gonna hold the down the play button, and I'm gonna choose infinity. And see how quick this goes? And I'm gonna go ahead and hit the little replay button as soon as I need it to stop. Otherwise, it's just gonna keep doing it over and over and over again. See, look at that, six seconds. <laughs> now this is cheating. So, yeah, I want to do that one more time. It, you can change the speed even faster than 15 times, but you'll get to the point where you're doing it so fast that the game can't even recognize it. So, we'll go ahead and hit the play button, and we'll choose infinity. See, it's not going to do it any faster because it's touching it so fast that it's not the game's not even registering it. Well, there we go. It was 651, so it was a little bit faster. But as you saw, you can change how quickly that goes. And we can move it over out of the way like I showed you earlier to hit this little X button here on the ad. Now, this video is almost over, but I want to go ahead and make something clear. There are some games where you build up your muscle, you build up your stamina, and you have to run on a treadmill in order to gain your stamina. And the treadmill has a little circle on it, and you basically do that as fast as you can until you've exercised, uh, you know, as much that day. If you hit the little record button, and then you draw a circle around, and then you quickly jump on the stop button, and if you mess up, just go back to record, draw a circle, and then go up here to stop, and then you can go up here, and you can hit infinity, and it'll keep doing that circle very, very, very fast, and you will quickly build up your stamina. Now, I don't want to get in trouble with the developers of that game, but uh, let's just say it's a game that I did a video on uh, uh, the first day it came out, and it didn't even work, and then after an update, it did work. There you go. That should be a pretty good hint. But when you're on the treadmill, you draw a little circle like this, and then you quickly jump on the stop button, and then you go up here, and you change it to infinity, and it'll keep doing that circle, and it does that circle at 20 times what we just set it to. And then you go up here to this little thing, you go down here. If that was too fast, then you just go to replace speed, and you change this to like 10. Oh no, not 150. I meant 10. That would be insane. So then you just go like this, and you go infinity. And it'll keep doing it until you've done until you've exercised the most that you can that day. There's other games that it's useful for, like if you're trying to do something where it's like you need to click here, then 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 click here. You can set it to do that. Oh, yeah, let me do this real quick. Let me set it to like this. J-O-S-H and the dog were going to the store and then hit stop now watch this if i delete all this and then if i hit the play button <laughs> see <laughs> that's pretty freaking awesome there's a lot of games you're gonna have to come up with those ideas on your own again i don't want to play the game and then the developers see this video and freaking like go get mad at me for showing people how to do it so
You're going to have to discover the uses of it on your own. But basically, it just programs the touches that you're doing, and it replays them back, and you can set that loop to whatever you want it to be. Um, most of the time, like I said, I just hit infinity, and then when I'm done with it, I hit the little replay button, and it stops doing what I'm doing. Also, if you touch anywhere on the screen, it'll do it too. It'll stop playing back. So it's really, really cool, and this is an app that I, I love it. I freaking love it. Um, I'm not sure what the cost is. If you, I think it's like, well, I don't even know. I'll just put it in the description and you'll have to click on it. There is a way to go to advanced and, uh, allow user input, um, advanced and then use it your own risk. But again, it's in the advanced section. So I don't recommend doing it. And one more thing I want to talk about before I end the video is really cool. If you go to the here and then you go to save, we can save that. We can save what we just did. You can go in a folder or you can just save it to the, the default directory or you can go here and change it to your external SD card and we'll do like um, paper and then hit save. Now it saved it. Now if we close out this app by long pressing on the little thing right there, it's gone. So if we go back to our uh, drawer here and we open up Rapid Touch. I, st I cannot say that correctly. We can hit the little star icon. We can go to load, go up. Sorry, I meant to go to my SD card. So storage and then external SD card. And at, here at the bottom, you'll see paper. And it loaded it successfully. Now if we open up the game and we hit single and then we hit infinity. Look at that. It's doing it. I saved that. So if you, if you spent a lot of time setting up a default profile, then... Um, it was right it was going way too fast for it to register so let's go to five times and replay that oh yeah that's right remember i hit the little thing right there and i was typing so i didn't well, i saved the wrong one I, that was swift key where i was had it do my text and then i hit save and i called it paper so if we were to like record this and then hit stop and then go here to this and save that is paper and we loaded it it would load that every single time it's really really cool this app is a whole lot of it's a mess of fun like it's definitely one of my favorite root apps right now besides titanium backup of course because uh it's just it's awesome it's amazing and you should definitely play with it and see what games you can use it on if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up um if the developer decides to put this in the google play store and you want to go to my channel, it's, again, youtube.com slash www.joshdew. You can also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash www.joshdew. You can follow me on Instagram where I post quick pictures and videos, instagram.com slash www.joshdew. Uh, hit the little follow button. It'll send me a request. As soon as I get a request notification on my device, I will accept it, and you will get to see all of my posts and future posts. I also have a, a bunch of other, you know, like other YouTube channels and social media accounts, and all of those will be linked in the description below. If you're not seeing a description, just go to youtube.com slash and search for the video on this app. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. You'll get notified the moment I upload new videos, and I almost always post on Twitter, letting people know that I'm working on a video. That way, if you're following me on Twitter, you'll know, hey, I need to stay on my computer for a little bit. There's fixing to be a video that's processing right now, and I'll get to see it in a couple minutes. So please follow me. Please subscribe. Please give the video a thumbs up. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.